Hello, um, this is Shukri and today I'm going to show you how to export uh, a good STL from JewelCAD. Uh, so we have this piece. I know how JewelCAD subtracts in a, uh, in a different way than Rhino or uh, 3Design. So whenever I'm sure uh, if anybody tried it, whenever you try to export the STL uh, of this piece, it's not going to be a proper STL because if you go to the shared view here, you see that the halos, there's no cutting on the halo, there's no cutting on the uh, under the stones, nothing, it's like plain. But uh, if you process it here in JewelCAD, you'll see that it's, it's cut. And if you can select the stones and move them, let's, let's try to subtract. Okay, see here it's subtracted, but you cannot ex export a nice STL. So the way to do it is, you're gonna, we're gonna use uh, an another software, it's called uh, 3D Code. But first, we need to uh, go to, uh, for, first we need to remove the stones. You select, you go J and hide, Control H, then you don't have the stones here. Then we go to cut into slices. Select where you want the, the file to be. Let's. Uh, Let's try to just make a temp folder here and name it test. Save. Then we go to advanced setting, click on advanced setting, also output STL file as you see here and just click OK. You don't have to change these settings, you can just choose the standard settings and click OK. What happened, JewelCAD sliced the file into uh, uh, to a SLC file and then it converted the SLC to an STL. Then we go to the toolcat file, uh, 